Let's talk about how you can improve your credit profile. It doesn't matter if you've got a good credit profile, a fair credit profile, or a really bad credit profile. I think everybody can do with a little bit of information around this topic, because it's so vital um, within the mortgage process, really, and um, a lot of people forget to mention credit profiles. Hi, my name is Payam Azadi and I'm an independent mortgage broker at Niche Advice. I've set up this channel really to give plenty of information to those seeking to get mortgages, whether they're uh, you know, first time buyers, next time buyers, or actually investors. So in this topic, I thought we'll talk about uh, a very important part of the mortgage process, which is your credit scoring, credit profiling, um, and how um, you can influence this uh, very directly and uh, to be able to give you the best opportunity of getting the right mortgage and, and the most suitable mortgage for you. So um, everybody knows about, I'm not gonna run through what a credit profile is. Um, what I will say is, you know, um, uh, a mortgages, mortgages work slightly different to other sort of loans or, I don't know, mobile phone. A lot of other people, their first initial probably um, uh, interaction to do with credit scoring, credit profiling is maybe getting a credit card or maybe getting a, a loan. Now, um, that very much is based on the, the score facility and, and how that works. But in my experience, when you're dealing with mortgages, um, those sort of scores that the credit reference agencies give you don't mean a lot. There are a few lenders that have now started to implement scoring and they will look at the score, but generally most lenders will ignore it. Um, and what's more important is uh, what you've got on your file. So, you know, have you got any defaults on your file, any late payments on your file, any missed payments on, you know, what type of missed payments are they? Is it, you know, is it a mobile phone? Is it, you know, is it utility bills? Um, when did it take place? You know, often a lot of people come to me, especially when they're first time buyers, they say, look, you know, during when I was a student, I, I let things go a little bit and I've got now default or I've got missed credit card payments and bits and pieces. So that has an impact. Um, so the first thing you need to do is find out what you've got on your file. And you could do so by lots and lots of credit agencies out there. The one that we like and we've got set up an affiliate account with them is uh, Check My Files. The reason I like them is um, because they do all three credit agencies. So they'll do Experian, they'll do Equifax, and they'll do TransUnion. Um, so you know, you've got your bases covered. If you wanted to get a credit report, I'll. I'll put a link in um, below. For the sake of transparency, let me make it clear. We've got a business relationship with Check My Files. What that means is we've set up an affiliate account, and when you click on the link, if you do take up your credit report, we will get remunerated. So, um, but it's, it's vital you um, get the right credit profiling system, and many lenders use different things. So some lenders will um, use Experian, others will use a mixture of both, others will use Equifax. What I've done is I've put an article, I did an article a while ago now, and I will put a link below in the description, which tells you which lenders are using what credit agencies. So I think that's quite useful for yourselves, um, especially for those of you that are looking to do this direct and cut the brokers out. You know, these are the things that you need to um, be aware of, you need to be conscious about, because, um, you know, especially um, when you're dealing with high loan to value products, you know, your 90%, your 95% products, if you don't have a good profile, if you have had late payments, then you're gonna have you're gonna have problems. Now, some people say, "Yeah, but it was a year ago. It was two years ago." Well, the credit um, will stay on your file for six years, so the late payments or whatever it was stays on your file for six whole years. Now, I'm not gonna say if you've missed a mobile phone, it's gonna have an impact on you. You know, if you missed it in 2015, it'll have an impact on you on your, on your mortgage. But you know, if you if you missed it last year, or if you missed it in the last couple of months. Yeah, I think it will do. So, and then it comes down to what else have you got? What else have you missed? Um, let's look at your credit profile in terms of you know utilizing your um, uh, you know your facilities. So let's just say you've got three credit cards. They've both got ten thousand um, pounds facility. Are you maxed out on there? How did you use it? What was the conduct of it? Have you got missed mortgage payments on there? And it will also show you know defaults. It will show uh, county court judgments. And the way it, it shows it, uh, and that's why I like Check My Files, is because it will tell you, you know, if it says one, that means you're one month late, two, two months late, three, three months late, and it goes right away to six, and then once it goes to a six, it will show as a default. So if it shows as a default, maybe afterwards it will show as a six again, but that's when the default took place. Now many lenders will work from that default 
and then if you've satisfied that default it's got a se separate default um, page on there um, so it's vital you uh, investigate what your credit profile is before you start you know talking to people like me going on Zoopla doing all the things that normal people do I think you know it, it's it's a good starting point to get your credit profile looked at and now let's talk about how you can actually improve that okay so if you've got a lot of my foreign national clients actually they've only been here for a couple of years they don't have a large credit footprint here so they may need to get that going um, so what can you do you definitely do not take out one of the misconceptions uh, uh, of um, uh, this is people go and take out payday loans because they think it improve, improves it it certainly doesn't when it comes to mortgages they hate it mortgage lenders think payday loans are the last resort why would somebody pay two thousand pounds interest rate two thousand percent interest rate on a loan they don't understand it and it's a negative point certainly from a lending perspective in fact many lenders if you've had a payday loans in the last six uh, twelve months they won't lend to you okay so you do not go and do that but you know utilizing credit and demonstrating that you've utilized credit in the right way is actually is a good point so you know uh, often you know getting a mobile phone instead of a pay as you go maybe you get it as a contract okay and then that's almost like a loan agreement you've taken out a loan you're paying that on a monthly basis so your credit profile is working as long as you keep everything up you know that's important um, credit cards yes credit cards are a bad thing and you can get yourself in trouble sometimes but sometimes they can be utilized in the right way so you get a credit card you put all your bills on there maybe your shopping maybe your petrol everything you put that on there and you set up a direct debit so and make sure you have money in your account to pay that off and that's seen as a loan um, so that's important as well you put yourself on the voters role um, that's really important because then the systems can actually see you once you've checked your credit profile you'll have a look and see make sure your updates your old updates are and that's one of the one of the things a lot of the defaults that we get guys uh, the most common problems that I see is directories so you know your next directory things like that lots of problems with that often people move and they've set up an account and they haven't updated it especially if you're renting guys stay away from things like that because you'll move and you'll forget about it you won't do a redirect and you'll forget about it and then all of a sudden a few years time when you're looking to get a mortgage you find out that oh my god I've had a default or I had a county court judgment on an address that I moved out three four years ago so that's a big one directories and things like that mobile phones more and more and more mobile phones people think that it's not important to pay mobile phones off what it is now often again it's similar thing you've moved address and something there's been a mix-up with the mobile phone or you've closed your contract down there was a misunderstanding about the contract and basically they further charged you so it's important when you're closing accounts when you're opening accounts you are giving the lend um, the lenders whoever it is the phone companies the correct information and you update that information because if you're not there they don't care you are just another number to them so they will um, you know start putting charges against you so those two things are, are very very important you get those uh, up to date um, what I would do is also is you know if you are somebody who's not a homeowner who doesn't have a lot of bills maybe it's worth you know if you're living with parents maybe it's worth you being added to one or two of the bills so you're seen as somebody who again it helps your credit uh, footprint but also it's seen as a, a, a you know they can find you and they can see a history to you often people have got you know a lot of people just don't have any debt they don't have any footprint so when you look at their credit report they've got their current account and maybe a mobile phone and that's about it so it's good to show that you are you know you've got a footprint and you're responsible with that footprint okay um, um, and and really the, the, the these are the basics of having a good credit profile okay obviously take out the commitments and pay those people back um, so often I get to see um, you know when people have bad credits they go on forums and they'll start you know taking out credit cards that are suitable for you know their, their marketing slogans are you know get your credit credit card and it improves your credit profile Okay, and in theory, you may do uh, with with those sort of revolving credits because you again you're seen as paying debts off. But so often I get these what these credit cards and there's defaults on them. There's late payments on them. So not only you've tried to get them improved it, but it's all gone haywire. So my the moral of the story for me is 
don't just go and take out a credit profile, or a credit report, um, credit card, or a loan, or a mobile phone card, and then not pay it off. That's even worse. Okay, so only I suppose live with you within your means. But um, the credit systems are uh, clever sometimes, uh, and sometimes they're out of date. Often I've had clients come to me and say, "I've got a credit profile of nine nine nine." Okay, that's really good. And then you see their credit report, and they're an ex-bankrupt three years ago. Well, bankruptcy show, you know, will be in your file, certainly most lenders, for six years. So, you know, if you're a bankrupt, though, you should have a very low credit profile, not a 999. But systems can't work that out properly. They haven't, they're not as advanced yet. Um, so that's why, I mean, don't, don't look at the credit score, but look at what you've got on your credit report. Um, there are many credit reports out there. Most of the credit agencies will give you a... Um, you know, some sort of an offer for the first month, you know, fourteen ninety nine, nine ninety nine, and then what will happen is they will like check my files do that and then what they will lose it's free, sorry, it's free for the first month and then you'll start charging you nine ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine, whatever it is, monthly. Okay. So you could easily just go and go to credit report and then cancel within that month. Um, there are a few uh, credit, credit karma I think they will do a sort of a free credit report for a lifetime. Okay, so that's quite good. Um, so I tend to tr say to my clients, you know, go and get the paid one because it's literally it's got the three, um, it's got the three agencies. But you know, maybe have a monitoring, you know, a free one in the background to monitor um, the ongoing credit worthiness. And there's all sorts of fraud prevention and bits and pieces on that. So I hope you found this useful, guys. It is really important to keep up to date with your credit commitments. It's up to date. Make sure you, you update your various facilities that are out there so when you do move around, you do not get caught on this. And that's a big point at the moment. I'm seeing so much of this. Um, take care and I'll catch you on the next one. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.